Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to do something a little different. I am filming my usual catch-up post and I'm doing this because not only I have quite a few things to share but I also have a giveaway on my blog and I wanted to make sure that you guys that watch my videos but don't follow me on my blog had a chance to enter it. So I will put a link to my blog in the description box below this video. So make sure to check that out and to enter because it's a really great prize. I really, I'm really happy to give it away. So uh, I'm going to get started with the ketchup and the first thing I'm going to talk about is a repurchase. The product that I repurchased this week is a mascara and it's the Care Waste Mascara. If you're in my blog, you probably read a lot about this one because it's been my favorite mascara for quite a while and for a couple of different reasons. First of all, it never smudges. Um, this one uses a, a pretty unique technology. I think that only one or two brands are using it in the mainstream world mainstream beauty world um, but for the green brands i think this is the only brand that uses this, this technology and basically the product coats the lashes and forms like tubes over the lashes to where if you get your uh, eyes wet whether you cry or you go to the pool or whatever it does not smudge so it will never leave that really unflattering black uh, shadow under your eyes it just dissolves and so uh, basically you will see just residual products that you can just wipe off so i really like that because i have pretty delicate eyes and uh, sometimes it can happen and my eyes can water a little bit and so i like that this one does not smudge and uh, of course uh, because i have sensitive eyes this is also a very good option it doesn't contain any fragrance it's very uh, delicate to my eyes it doesn't irritate them at all and uh, i also like that it, it holds the curl really well so what i like to do is i like to apply one coat i let it dry and then once it's nice and dry maybe after two minutes i just um give it a gentle squeeze with my eyelash curler and it does not it does not break my lashes to be honest because it's not I, i'm just really gentle and it's never done that and uh, it just keeps my lashes open and nice and curled all day long so i really like this mascara um, the only thing i have to say make sure if you try it not to apply more than two coats because on the third coat you may experience a little flaking uh, nothing major but still i think that you may want to stick to two coats and you will get very natural defined lashes nothing too dramatic no Ton, not a ton of volume but very nice well-defined lashes that are perfect for daytime um, daytime makeup so I really like this one I really wanted to try something different but I didn't have time to look for something for, for another mascara so I just went for my trusted Caraways mascara again Next, I wanted to talk about some makeup products that I picked up at Sephora because quite a few people ask me if I purchase anything at Sephora and I usually purchase only tools or other things that I may need but um, not a lot of makeup and skincare. However, I was very curious to try buy beauty products because a lot of people told me that they were so great and I also loved the color selection. The formulas are actually very, very great. I picked up three different formulas. The first one is the um, high pigment pencil and I picked up the color Honeyberry, which is the one that I'm wearing on my lips right now. And this is a really good um, brownish nude, which I think is perfect for fall, but it's really perfect all year long if you like nude colors. And I really like the pencil because it's very moisturizing. Moisturizing. I've been wearing this for so long and it still feels really comfortable. And it's also very pigmented. It has a lot of color, a lot of coverage. So I really like, and um, I also like that the color selection is so great. I mean, I picked up a bunch of nude colors, but you can find beautiful reds and corals and vibrant shades. And it's a really great selection. So definitely this formula was, um, one of my favorites. I also picked up the Luminous Cream Lipstick, which I believe is everyone else's favorite formula because these lipsticks are some of the most popular at Sephora. They're very creamy and moisturizing. And um, I read that these are really highly pigmented. However, I think I picked the only shade that is not extremely pigmented. I think that this is a little more sheer, but it's called Fiano. And um, I still like it though, because it's a perfect, um, neutralizing color for lips for when you want to wear a little more makeup on your eyes and want to keep your lips more neutral and more um, and more nude 
So if you like beige nudes, this is really nice. I have to say, like I said, I expected it to be a little more pigmented because everyone raves about the pigmentation of the cream, of the luminous cream lipstick. But I'm very pleased with it uh, anyway. And I will definitely pick up some more colors uh, in this formula as well. Another Buy Beauty product that I picked up at Sephora is their Best Bite uh, rewind. This is a gift set with four matte lip crayons and I was actually going to purchase one of the lip crayons in the shade Amaretto which I, I saw um, Ashley from Makeup That Is All wearing and I liked this so much that I wanted to pick up that one but then I saw a set of four for the price of one and I thought it was a really good deal and uh, all the colors look so pretty so I decided to pick this one which I will probably purchase for um, as a gift. Uh, over the holidays. This is in fact I think it's a gift set that they create for the holidays and I really like the packaging. It comes in a met metal tin with a mirror and you get four colors inside for different lip crayons and so I have to say the formula, I've tried the formula of one of them. I haven't tried them all yet. I've tried Cafe which is a pinky nude and it's really pretty because it's, it's matte but it's also very comfortable to wear, which I think is uh, the constant with Buy Beauty, that all the products are so rich in color, but also so comfortable to wear because they contain all the moisturizing uh, oils and waxes. And so I really like Cafe because it's a pretty pinky nude, but in the set you also get a rose color and a reddish color and a berry color. So. I think I will purchase maybe one or two as a gift uh, over the holidays because the quality is really nice and the packaging is really nice and the price is so great. So yeah, so I was very pleased with the Buy Beauty products that I purchased and I will definitely uh, go shop for more. Next, I wanted to mention a deodorant that has been working really well for me. It just launched recently. It's called Agent Nature and it's a stick deodorant. So it comes in a nice chubby stick like this and um, it has been working really well. Now for the ingredients, this is a very moisturizing formula that includes um, coconut oil and beeswax. Uh, so unfortunately it's not suited for vegans, but it is very moisturizing. It also contains raw um, honey. And um, I like also the scent of it. It's very clean and fresh. It is something in between the scent of honey and eucalyptus and lavender. It smells really fresh and clean and very natural. Uh, I have to say that although I'm very sensitive to scents, I do wish that this was just a tad stronger because I like the scent of it. And I would like if, I, I would have liked it if, uh, if it was just a tad stronger and lingered a little longer. Um, however, it does contain smells. I find that uh, there are just some days where I feel a little stressed out and if I don't wear a good deodorant, I will smell really funny by the end of the day. And this one does not do that. I really feel like it helps me to contain all the smells. Um, however, I do wish that it was just a tad stronger. Um, I need to mention also that it contains baking soda because it is an ingredient that irritates a lot of people and um, I must say that usually it won't irritate me unless I just shade. When I shave my armpits I cannot use the deodorant with, um, with baking soda in it. It will irritate and it will sting and it will burn and it was just not, it will just not be good. But this one I actually used last night after I shaved just because I wanted to give it a try and it did not do that. Probably because the formula contains all this soothing um, waxes and oils and it did not do that. So I really like it. I think that it's a really good option. If you've tried several different uh, deodorants and none work for you, you may want to give this one a try. It's also more convenient because it comes in a stick form. So yeah, I will definitely continue to use it, uh, which I'm really excited about because <laughs> there aren't a lot of um, options among the most um, green deodorants. So yeah, so definitely worth checking out. I wanted to mention another makeup product today. This is a brow filler from the brand Honest Beauty, which is the new beauty brand that Jessica Alba just launched. And there are quite a few beauty products to check out. There's skincare and makeup, and uh, they, they come up with a really complete line from concealer to face products and cheek products and so on. So I picked up the brow filler because I'm still looking for the perfect brow product for me. 
Um, I have found quite a few products that work well in terms of texture and consistency and longevity, but as for the color, I'm still having trouble finding something that uh, looks natural on me. And I have to say, on a daily basis, when I do my makeup on average day and I go out, uh, basically in real life, I don't mind using something that is not an exact match, but whenever I have to go out or I uh, take photos for the blog or I have to film, if I, if I wear a color that doesn't match me, it looks just so odd because most colors look just so red on me and so plummy. And uh, so this one, unfortunately, also was not a perfect match for me. This is the Rich Brunette color. I will have a swatch for you guys so you can see uh, what it looks like. And you will see that this will probably match a lot of people. And because it's a nice, um, it's not too warm, actually. It's a nice... Uh, slightly medium dark brown I would say but uh, like I said it's a really good color and it will match a lot of people but unfortunately for me it was still not the exact color the product itself is really good I mean it comes in a really nice twist up pencil don't you love twist up pencils they're just so convenient and then it has a spoolie on the other side which is just uh, genius because everyone needs a spoolie when you're doing your eyebrows so the product itself is really great unfortunately this one does not match me really well so i do recommend checking out these brow fillers from honest beauty but as i said i will be either trying another color probably the darkest from the line um, or probably just switch up to something else because the color doesn't work for me Next, I wanted to mention a body product that I've been really enjoying and that I'm so excited to talk about because it was created by a fellow blogger, Kimberly Locke, with a brand called Rachel Splen B. And it's a body oil that has a really interesting scent. And I was a little nervous to try this one because when I heard that it contained jasmine, I wasn't sure it was going to be my thing because uh, I like jasmine, it's just not my favorite scent. However, as I tried the body oil, I was so overwhelmed with how amazing it smelled. It's, it's just one of the most beautiful scents that I have ever smelled because it smells like jasmine, but it also contains a little rose and just a hint of vanilla. So it's floral, but it's still pretty delicate and somehow on the skin it changes and then it becomes a little a hint more uh, warm and relaxing and I don't know, it's just a really nice floral scent, not overwhelming and at the same time very long lasting. I absolutely love how I apply it in the morning and in the evening when I take off my clothes I can still smell it in my clothes, it smells so good and that's just one of the things about this oil that I like. I also love the texture because as you get the oil on your hands it, it feels of course oily but as you massage it on your skin you just feel that after maybe two minutes it's completely absorbed to the point that you can get dressed and just go on with your day you don't have to wait until it sinks in it won't get your clothes greasy it's just a really good formula in fact i asked him why did you call it body oil for normal to dry skin anyone can wear this anyone can use it it's so comfortable so I'm very excited because, like I said, I was a little nervous about the scent, but it turned out to be one of the most beautiful scents I've ever smelled. And um, unfortunately, it's limited edition. So I have to say, if you want to try it, you're going to have to <laughs> hurry up and get one. And last thing I have to mention, this is very important because a lot of brands will give you body oil in this quantity with very similar ingredients and it will charge you a lot of money for it this one costs 36 dollars and to me it feels just as luxurious as my other most expensive body oils so i have to say i'm really really proud of kim i think she did a really great job with formulating this product uh together with the brand of course uh they obviously contributed but the scent of it and the formula make this body oil very luxurious and at the same time more affordable so i definitely recommend checking it out so that was the last product that i wanted to mention today please make sure to visit my blog and enter the giveaway because the prize is really nice it's a 100 dollars gift card from beauty habit which is one of my favorite online retailers for anything beauty related they have a large amount of brands and different products they even have beautiful cards and gifts it's just a really great uh, store and I like that they have um, really nice uh, international shipping options, which is why I decided to purchase a gift, 
the gift card from them. So I hope that you guys will enter it and I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure to like it by giving it a thumb up and to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you next time. Ciao.